The Pennsylvania law banning handheld use of cell phones while driving will affect just about everyone who drives, but there are a lot of questions about just what will get you in trouble. I talked with Pennsylvania State Police Lieutenant Adam Reed to get the details. We've all seen it, maybe even done it, driving while holding our phone. When you see a car is driving erratically, slowing down, speeding up, doing a lot of weaving, they're pretty easy to pick out. And sure enough, when you get up beside that driver, there they are with the phone in their hand. So it's really, really dangerous. The new state law makes it illegal to drive while holding your phone for virtually any reason, making a call, sending a text, changing the music on your playlist, checking your email. The only real exceptions are emergencies to call 911. An exception to this law would not be, however, if you're stopped at, say, a red light or a stop sign because that would be a temporary stoppage according to the law and wouldn't be a legitimate excuse to do it. A driver can hold the phone when you're in a parking space or safely parked on the side of the road. The penalty for disobeying the law is a $50 fine, which will come to 100 to 150 with fees. And it's what's called a primary offense. So that means that you are able to be pulled over solely for the fact that you have your phone in your hand while you're behind the wheel. Distracted driving was the leading cause of car crashes in Pennsylvania last year, more than 11,000 crashes. And there was an increase in deaths, more than 1,200 people died. How dangerous is it? I think people think, oh, I'm just looking down for a second, but you can go really far in a car in one second, right? Oh my gosh, yes, yes. I, I, I believe if you're traveling 65 miles an hour and you look down for one second, if you have traveled 95 feet, basically blindfolded. So when you're driving in your vehicle, that is enough to really do a lot of damage and put your life and the lives of others sharing the road with you at risk. Now the law will take effect in one year and in that first year officers will only issue warnings, but they suggest you start getting used to it now. Of course, so you don't get a ticket when the time comes, but really more importantly, so you're safe both yourself and everyone else on the road.